it's a good intimate session and we like that. So please um, participate if you're if you choose to. We love that too. To make it like a discussion, the more relevant uh, we can make it for you, the better. Yeah, we try to have like when we have this kind of um, setup, we try to have more of an interactive dialogue rather than just us, you know, sharing information. And so we love your your participation. <laughs> Are comfortable yeah. with it? The main way we work with people is one on one. We work with people via telephone, we're life coaches, so they schedule calls with us. Um, we help them with different goals like relationship goals, um, career goals, uh, to, to release grief and to navigate challenges in their lives um, with greater wisdom and discernment, things like that. And um, we have lots of different ways we can help, um, online courses, books, things like that. So if you like this stuff, just feel free to reach out to us later and uh, we can let you know what we have available. Let's see, today we're gonna do some practices. Um, we hope to give you a very hands-on experience so that instead of kind of giving you an instruction manual so that you can go practice on your own, we, we wanna make more of a blend of that so that you can leave today feeling like, yes, like there's these goals that are meaningful to me. I have a, a more conscious understanding of what those goals are and how to achieve them. And I've actually made progress towards those goals in the short, hour and 45 minutes we have. Good? Mm -hmm. uh, so what we're going to talk about is first we're going to understand the difference between how people and society has been conditioned to sort of motivate themselves, meaning with, through expectation and feelings of like have to and, and must, and the difference between that and the difference between intentions. So have you ever uh, woken up and felt like, man, I have to go to the gym today. Have you ever um, felt upset with yourself for not doing something that you felt you should have done? I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> so these are the, the types of um, strategies that we're going to compare to conscious intentions, which are usually like much more pleasant. Have you ever felt what it's like to, to feel like really in alignment with something? Like it's, it's, you're really flowing, like you, you know where you're going, and, and things are happening in that direction for you, without resistance. Definitely. So that's, that's ultimately the goal of this workshop. And in order to get there, we're going to define <coughs> how to uh, set conscious intentions and goals. So even like the language that makes up the goals that you choose is important and can influence you. Uh, then we're going to talk about um, any limitations that we have and how to identify those limitations and understand them in terms of achieving our goals. And we'll teach you how to release those limitations once you identify them. And finally, we'll talk about how to maintain alignment uh, with your goals so that day in and day out, you're feeling like you're on track and you're feeling good, that you're getting to where you want to go. Good? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So the, the, the purpose of walking you through this kind of process is that when you operate from conscious wisdom and discernment in your um, in setting your intentions and your goals what happens is that your state of consciousness shifts you feel differently than you would if you're just trying to um, to meet up an expectation right that might be motivated by maybe some uh, fear or some limiting belief about what might happen if you don't reach that goal or that intention. So when, when you come into a place of defining your intentions consciously and your goals consciously, you start to feel more relaxed, you start to feel ease. So you wake up in the morning and you feel this creative energy. A lot of our energy is actually kind of uh, stored and trapped in the negative potentials that we project and that, so those, those negative potentials are kind of um, operating in our expectations, meaning that we, we want something to happen because we don't want something else not to happen or to Hello. happen. Sorry. Hello. Welcome, that's okay. <laughs> Welcome. So, <laughs> hi. If you want, you can line up some chairs next to each other. Be careful with the camera there. 
Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. So we were just talking about the outline of the workshop and now we were kind of describing what the benefit is of setting conscious intentions as opposed to operating from expectations. So when we operate from expectations, usually there's ramification to operating from expectations, which means that there might be negative emotions, there might be uh, difficulties in your relationship dynamics as a result of operating from expectation because when you're operating from expectations, you're not really truly present. You're operating from a projection of what you think is right or good or what you think needs to happen for you to get the results that you want instead of operating from conscious wisdom and discernment in the present moment with a, an idea of what you want to achieve. And when you have an idea of what you want to achieve without setting it up in a, a format that is restricting, that is tense, that, that creates resistance, you feel, you feel good. You have a lot of energy, right? You have creative energy on a daily basis. And so that's the place of alignment that we'd like to get you to, to experience today through this workshop. Yeah, so maybe define expectations a little bit. Mm -hmm. So expectations are, first of all, they're based on the past, right? If you think about intentions, intentions is more like you creating a reality that you don't really know how things are going to unfold, right? You just have this intention like, a, uh, I would call it maybe a, a shining star to follow. And um, from that, you generate certain feelings internally towards these intentions. When we talk about expectations, it's more, well, in order for me to achieve this goal, for me to, to have this result, this outcome, I need to have step one, two, three, four happen. Now, life and reality is very different than the steps that we may come up with based on past circumstances. So if you're, if you're operating from expectations, you're operating from what other people have done, from what you've done in the past, from uh, what's in the collective consciousness. So, you know, what might be strategies that people might be operating from. So we call that control strategies, right? Judgmental control strategies. If I don't have this, then uh, this negative thing might happen. Um, so what happens when we're operating from expectations is we're kind of drawn into a process of self-judgment, self-criticism. It creates a lot of uh, kind of resistance to what is happening in the present moment because we're constantly comparing things. So we have this idea of how things should unfold and then we're comparing, oh, well, is it unfolding the way that I believe it needs to unfold? But that idea and that expectation were created in the mind meaning that they're limited by what the mind can perceive and what the mind can project. And so in that state of mind, you're not really operating from consciousness. You're operating from a state of, of uh, a defined reality, again, that is, that is limited by the past and that is also uh, not flexible to what is happening to integrate new things in. So... Number one, the tension, the resistance, the negative emotions that we may feel in regards to that. Uh, another aspect of expectation that we find to be limiting and not useful, which is why we feel like it's, it's less optimal to operate from expectations, is that when you operate from expectations and you don't meet your own expectations, there's going to be a, a cycle, right, a downward cycle of projections, of negative projections of the implications of not meeting your expectations instead of just uh, being able to quickly adapt to whatever is happening, right, with conscious wisdom and discernment, and then uh, kind of refine your intentions over time, right? But when you have an expectation, oh, it's not happening, so what I, what I want is not going to happen, which leads to a lot of different negative emotions, and then we get kind of trapped in that cycle. And then we operate as if, what we want to achieve is not going to, to, to be achieved. And therefore, we kind of stall ourselves in the process of achieving. Whereas if we were operating from conscious wisdom and discernment and intentions, then we would be able to not go into that downward spiral of negativity and just assess, you know, what is happening and, and, and how in this present moment, what is the next step that I can take that is in alignment with my intentions and that can help me achieve 
my my goal.